easy to do, that's a good one. Thanks for visiting our sawmill. So this will be an interesting one today. I'm going to be doing some rainbow popper on, and also talking about how to maintain your band uh, tension while you're sawing very easily. It's the most action-packed eight minutes of sawmilling on the YouTube. <laughs> no, it's not, but it's the best I can do. Isn't that pretty? Wow. Some mineralization coming up into the poplar. That is gorgeous. Just look what a good band will do when you're sawing. Look at how little sawdust on this board. Almost not, almost not enough to wipe off. Look at that. That's when things are going right. All you should have, you can see a little bit of spillage. That's what you're looking for when you're sawing. Very little sawdust. All right, y'all, I'm gonna show you another little trick. If, if you have a band mill that has a blade tension gauge, whether it's hydraulic, spring-loaded, or excuse me, whether it's hydraulic or pneumatic, you'll have a dial indicator, a pressure gauge of some kind. Does it matter what the number you're supposed to be set at, you need to rotate that gauge so that the proper pressure is always indicated at the 12 o'clock position. You know, now why in the world would I want to do that? It kind of takes out some of the uniformity and the organizational thing out of it. Well, here's the reason. Look, see my pressure gauge way down there? If you zoom up, or I about I'll do a manual zoom, I'll walk up. I can tell that that thing is always perfect because my needle always at the 12 o'clock position. I can see it from here. And I can see it 
from way down here when I'm sawing. Folks with LT40s and the hydraulic mills are extremely sensitive to the band temperature. As the band heats up, the fluid, the hydraulic pressure, the hydraulic fluid has zero compressibility. It's a liquid. It doesn't have any spring effect. That's why Wood Miser went to the airbags later on in the Super 70s and 70s and stuff. The thing is, though, when you have a pure hydraulic uh, blade tension gauge like the LT40, when that band heats up, you're going to see that gauge move a lot. It's going to decrease tension. Your band is going to get a little bit slacker than it should be. And that means that you're sawing with a slightly looser band. If at any point that band heats up, you'll be able to look down the track and see if that gauge, the needle is at the 12 o'clock. I mean, I guess you could put it at the 6 o'clock. It doesn't matter. It's got to be in a position where every time you look at your sawmill, you will subconsciously see that that band tension is in the correct spot. Very important to always know and maintain your band tension. So anyway, another little tip from Chip at Hobby Hardwood. Chip's over there. He's pretty relaxed. He's looking at me like, give him that good tip, boss. Give him that good tip. So anyway, I just gave you a good tip. Um, that's a good one. Easy to do. That's a good one. Let's get back to song. nice looking board rainbow poplar look at that purples pinks purple blue indigo something 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 pretty prettier shit i don't know looks good though did y'all see how i was able to blow through that log that's why you have a sharp blade that's set correctly it's going to cut straight it's going to cut fast it's going to leave a minimum of sawdust and take your paint scraper and throw it in the garbage can or use it to scrape paint or I don't know what you want to drywall. Hey, let's go find out what Chip's doing. I've been sawing all this wood. We're going to sneak up on him, okay? I see him over there. He's watching us. I'm going to see if I can't sneak up on him. Busted. He's looking right at me, too. Hum, da -da -dum -dum. We're just being kind of nonchalant here. No big deal, we're gonna walk away. He's not gonna know, we're gonna go visit Martha. Hey, I think his eyes are closed. He'll sneak up here. Let's see if he's awake or not. Be very, very quiet. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's been rolling. He's been rolling in the dirt and the grass. Look at you. Oh my goodness. Oh, he says, hey, this feels good. Wow. He's messy. Oh, wow. he's a good dog. Hey, we'll see y'all next time. Thanks for visiting our sawmill. Click on the links above to see more of our videos.